Hi, this is Judy Marino, and today we're going to get an overview of the best sources to use for Ruth Burke's psychology class. Let's get started. We know that the first part of the assignment asks you to find three articles or sources for review. Appropriate topics are diseases, syndromes, or environmentally induced conditions that affect children's development. So your research needs to include your topic's history, symptoms and presentation, long-term effects, prevalence, causes, and treatment. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'll just search how hunger or food insecurity influence child development. Let's get started. So from this main page at CMCC, you're going to click on the library link. And from this library page, click the link to Marvel. Okay, so from home with Marvel and any other database, you'll get this screen where you have to enter your CMCC ID, which is the number on the front of your card, and your last name. And then you should be in. If you have any problems, uh, call the library's front desk, 755-5218, or uh, come in and we will help you with um, your access to this. Okay, this is the home screen for the Marvel databases. Uh, this screen will actually give you links to 80 different databases on a variety of topics. You could search them one by one if you wanted to, or you could search just the health databases one by one if you wanted to. Um, but what we're going to do is use this search box here and search them all at once so you can see um, the number and variety of results that you'll get using Marvel. So this is where we input a couple of uh, keywords related to our search and I'm going to use three related to this topic. I'll just type in children and development and hunger. And we use and in between these terms because it makes sure that each of our results has all of these words in them. And that's a very standard way of searching in many different databases that you will use in your college career. So let's click the search button. And we have over 407 results. Um, now on the left hand side, the first thing that you see is our current search and this tells you exactly what you've done so far. So we have no limiters. Um, and at this point, we're going to pick full text as a limiter, which means that we're just asking for those results that have the entire article with it and not just a citation. So that's narrowed it down to 147,000. Um, we're also going to limit the date to, let's say, the last 10 years so we have more current information. So we'll pick 2005 to 2015. And now we're down to 83,000 results. Um, the source types tell you what kinds of sources your results were found in. So if you wanted to limit to just say academic journals, you would click here. Um, if we click on show more, you'll get an, a full list. And for this demo, we'll just limit to academic journals, magazines, news sources, ebooks and trade publications. But you should always check with your instructor to see what kinds of sources they want you to be using for your research. So now we're down to about 64,000 results, which is still pretty daunting. So a very effective way to narrow down your search even further is to look for something on the screen that says subject. Anytime you do that, go ahead and click on it and see what this particular database uses for its subject terms because this is a narrower, more focused way of searching than the keyword search that we normally do. So we'll click on show more to look at all of these uh, subject headings that were included in our results and I'm looking for something that says child development or development related to children. Here we go. So there's over 459 records with that subject term in it, and now they're up on the screen. So from here, I might actually start browsing through these results. I could if I wanted to put the newest results at the top and then just start hovering over this magnifying glass, which brings up um, some publication information 
and an abstract, which is basically just a, a subject, uh, excuse me, a, a summary of the article. And I'd start kind of browsing through, and I'd probably make note of some other subject terms that I might want to use to redo my search. And there are already a few that are jumping out at me. Now, I want to kind of switch gears here and redo this search and show you another very powerful search trick that you can use. And that's any time that you see um, a couple of words together that work really well as a phrase, always try it in quotation marks because that will make the database um, phrase those words as a, as a phrase, search those words as a phrase. So we'll choose child development as a phrase. And then we'll include another phrase that I see a lot here on this page, which is food insecurity. And we'll actually search those two together and see what happens. So that was okay. Um, it actually opened up our search to about a thousand different results. Uh, it remembered that we wanted full text and it remembered um, the dates that we wanted. Um, we'll have to choose our source types again. So we go with journals, magazines, news sources, trade, and ebooks. So a little under a thousand. And again, I'd probably look at these subjects and I'll limit to child development again. And 192, this is actually fairly manageable. So from here, I'd probably really kind of go through and, and skim these and see which ones I would pick for my research. So let's say, for example, I've done that and I'm going to use number one. So what I'm going to do is click on the title to the article to open it up. And what you see is this brief display. It's actually a, a record display. You want to make sure that you save this because all the little pieces of information that you need to create your APA or your MLA citation are right here, including the title of the article, the authors, the source is the name of the journal or the magazine that it came out of, the date, um, what kind of um, publication it was, uh, the pages, and if there was any DOI, um, it would be included down here. So this is uh, super helpful. So print this off in addition to the full text of the article, which is over here.